a poll here explaining that nobody cares about Clinton's health or Trump's taxes. Okay, but you, you kind of got to read this backwards. Um, it's the, the opposite way that you might think you do. Okay, if you think about it, you should conclude that the swing voters must be represented by the smaller percentages, as the dominant concerns merely reflect the partisan propaganda. So if you're a partisan Republican, you've been hearing for months about Clinton's emails. Right? So when you look at the numbers and you say, okay, 36% of people that pick Clinton's emails is the biggest issue, they're probably mostly really partisan Republicans because that's what they've been brainwashed with for months. Whereas the 10% that picked her health are likely swing voters. Another way to think of it is like this. Okay, if if the issue that you think is the most important is an issue that was defined a long time ago, then you probably already picked your major choice a long time ago, right? If you're saying that the emails are the biggest issue, then you probably made that choice back when the emails were the were the news cycle at the, at the top of it. But if you're picking that her health is the biggest issue, then you probably made your choice more recently. Or you're still in the process of making your choice. So it's easy to say, well, look, most people care about these issues that, you know, partisan publications have been pushing for. Well, yeah, because most people are partisans. You don't want to look at what the majority says. You want to look at what the minority that is actually a swing voter says. So it's a badly designed study, okay? If you're going to ask the question, you should ask it about issues. You know, the answers would be things like the economy, security, health care, etc., then the highest numbers would be the most important. But when you ask it about the candidate specifically, what is the biggest issue with this candidate, you're going to filter out the partisans to the top of the percentages. Okay? It doesn't matter what the answer is. The ones with the highest numbers are going to be the partisan of people. And then leave the swing voters near the bottom. What it is is a way to measure which propaganda is most effective. And I do apologize for the paywall. When I opened this link, there was no paywall. And now I can't open it. Let's let's see if uh, that's still the case. Paywall here. Oh, paywall's gone. Weird. Paywalls, they come and go. Okay, paywall's gone now. So yeah, I mean, like, actually, I got that backwards. It's 29% said it was the, it's the uh, email server, and 36% say it's uh, her foreign policy. I mean, I'm not saying all of them. I'm saying, but, but, but I mean, that's, you're going to add it up to 100%, and most of those people are going to be are going to be partisans, right? If you want to do this, you should split it up so that like amongst people that have not decided already that they're going to vote for Donald Trump, right? And remove those and then you'd get something useful. But as it is, this is like, you know, or like 33% of the people that like their biggest concern with Donald Trump is he doesn't have the right temperament to serve. That's like that's directly from from the Clinton campaign. Right. So of course those are mostly Democrats that are going to say that, right? It's it's just it's just this isn't a good. You you want to look at you know. The stuff is down here more. To get kind of a better idea, right? So yeah, that's, uh, that's my take on that.